Yeah. We've already Sorry. hit our 30 minute mark. So we don't worry about going over. It's all good. We're just rocking and rolling. I'm bad at this. Pitt Panthers. Pittsburgh, seven and seven last year, six and two. They were your ACC Coastal Champions. I know. It's kind of surprising. It surprises me so yeah. much. Returning starters, they've got five on offense, five on defense back. Experience returning number 79 in the country. That is good for ninth in the ACC. Their over-under is five and a half. The over-juice is minus 150, so they expect them to go uh, six wins. The under is plus 130. Pat Narduzzi, 28 and 24 in four years. He is replacing two 1,000-yard rushers four offensive linemen, and 12 starters overall. Former US, uh, UMass uh, head coach Mark Whipple is the new offensive coordinator. That could be a good thing, I guess, because uh, they were so heavily uh, reliant on the run last year. Uh, but they, they've got quarterback Kenny Pickett back, wide receiver uh, Maurice French. Uh, got those two guys to work with. Obviously, that is a foundation to build on. The final six games of last year, their opponents averaged only 323 yards per game. That was strong. Yeah. Lots strong. of upperclassmen starting, but they are young and experienced uh, behind them. Not much for Whipple to work with, but the team is built physical. Defense is obviously going to help some. I, they, they really surprised me the back half of last year, but a lot of that was those offensive linemen. And the running backs. Controlling right? cold, control the line of scrimmage, controlling the game clock, defensive staying off the field, so when they're on the field, they, they were can really, be aggressive, really good. and they can they can make big stands. I agree. The I don't schedule, think they can do that. The this schedule year. this year is brutal. Their non-conference games, they got three against three real good teams. Yeah. Uh, they, they've got uh, and, Ohio, and that, that at that. Penn State, and UCLA. Ohio. Ohio, not going to be a pushover. No. No, not in the slightest. I no. do have them beating Ohio. I do too, but... Um, I've got them beating Delaware. I've got them beating Miami at Georgia Tech. And then I've got them beating North Carolina. I think they lose at Virginia Tech, lose to Boston College, uh, lose at Syracuse, lose at Duke, lose to UCF, lose to Penn State, and lose the opening game to Virginia. I've got them at five and seven. I've got them three and nine. And, Holy and I, mackerel. And, and, and I think Narduzzi's better than that. Well, you, you but that's it. I, I just don't, I don't think they're beating Miami. If we think Miami is what they are, you're, you're seeing that's a home game and we're going to upset somebody. Yeah. But if they upset somebody and they go four and, and, and eight, it wouldn't surprise me. I think they would do it early against Virginia or or maybe there is a chance. We covered this in the Big Ten uh, preview earlier, which was it wouldn't shock me if Penn State has kind of a collapse and they, they win yeah. that game. That's on the road, but that's also a game I don't think Penn – that's not going to be a night game at Penn State, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, So that wouldn't that wouldn't surprise me either. If they beat BC, I have them losing to BC. If they beat BC, that wouldn't shock me. It's a home game at the end of the season. I just don't see them getting to six wins. I can't believe this team was the team that represented the, the division. Coastal Division last year. Um, and and I, I think their schedule this year is just – I don't know Brutal. what it looked like last year. I know this. It ain't the same. They got four non-conference games that are going to make them fight like hell. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and they did that last year, right? They, they Well, not not to this extent. No, not to they, this they extent. Played, they played Penn State last year. But, you know, it, it Pitt always does this. Uh, and, and they may shock us again, but Narduzzi has got to find a way to stabilize this team. He's a good coach. Yeah. At some point in time, he's got to find a way to recruit. I don't see him... Um, I mean, remember with Matt Canada, they upset number one Clemson on the road in year one. They went eight and four. Right. They were like, they looked like the trending team. That's what got Canada on the map. And then the next year, like after Canada leaves, they just they bottom out. That's right. Now, but but even that, even bottoming out, even not making a oh, bowl yeah, game, they beat two, number number two or say. three Miami. That's right. Yeah, like, but like I said, we that was the year that we kind of didn't know what we thought about Miami. Yeah. That's and I mean, Miami had won what, like they beat Notre Dame, who was a top five team, top right. ten team, or whatever, and blasted them in the Orange Bowl like two weeks before that. So, you know, you just you never know what to make of these teams. Sometimes they're all paper tigers, and it is what it is. Yeah, I could be I could be way off on this. That's, I've got them five and seven because they're they're going to beat somebody. You're right, and like Narduzzi does that. This I, team I is probably, really. Fit. 